It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. A Yorkshireman named Lister moved to California. Lived there for a long time, still living there now. But bought some beer, some fantastic beer for me, because he knew he was coming back to Yorkshire to visit family. So thank you very, very much, Lister. I wanted to start the video by saying that. Uh, this is a beer called, or from, Wildworks Brewing Company, and it's their Double Dry Hop Juicy Bits India Pale Ale. It's brewed with Citra Mosaic El Dorado, uh, Double Dry Hop Beer, 6.7% ABV. Wildworks Brewing Company, apparently this is a really difficult beer to get hold of in America. Uh, they're a very popular brewery, so honestly, thank you, Lister. Um, sent a wonderful letter, fantastic letter to us on the channel, which I just read. And most of this regarding this beer here from Stone Brewing Company, a one batch dispatch series uh, for a home brewer called Jason Dunn. A pineapple Dunn upside down, we heavy. So we're going to get into that in another review. But I just wanted to get into this IPA. I'd, I'd like to drink the IPAs fresh. So we're going to get the IPA out into a glass and see what we get. Beer in the glass. Ooh, look at this. Wow. Look at this. We have a three finger white head, hazy straw colored beer, slow moving, very slow moving carbonation actually, not too much in the way of carbonation, but great head retain, retention, great look to the beer. Let's get the aroma. Wow. Some of these beers from America just completely blow my mind. I was lucky enough to be sent some wonderful beer recently from America. And the beer was, it was an Omnipolo beer that they brewed with a company. And the company's, the, the, the brewing company's just slipped my mind, but I'm sure it'll come to me later on. Uh, but that was incredible. The aroma, I stood out in the garden just out there and reviewed it. And that, that aroma was just sublime. This is, this seems even better. Monkish. Monkish, that, that was them. The Foggier Window and the Monkish X Omnipolo. They were great beers. But this smells just as good. Really soft. Really, really soft, lovely, juicy mango, pineapple, touch of grapefruit, orange peel. Oh, it smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's a real privilege to do what I do. It really is. It never kind of ceases to amaze me. Uh, standing here, drinking such amazing beer. I mean, this is just amazing. This is just, oh, where do I start with this? It's incredible, incredible beer. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows! Oh. The water is so soft. They've really treated the water. It's beautifully, softly treated. Then the hops that they've chosen to use are just so juicy it's it's like 
a fantastic combination. It's, it's, it's like juice evolved. It's, it, it's like an orange juice, mango, passion fruit, but it's all evolved. It's all kind of, and I think it's evolved by the use of hops. The Americans started growing hops where uh, they were generally from Europe, but when they planted them in the heat of America, they did something strange. And that is instead of tasting slightly stinging nettly and kind of more traditional, like a German, Czech or British hop, they soaked up all of that American sunshine, specifically in the California area of America. And they flourished and they and they evolved, they changed. They started giving off flavours of, of, of orange peel and passion fruit and mango. So the American brewers and the American farmers decided to evolve this hop even further to kind of like breed different hops together and get them to taste even more juicy. And the result is beers like this. It looks like sunshine in a glass, doesn't it? If you were to ask me what California, San Diego, the heat of America looked like, I would just point to this glass of beer and go, here you go. This is exactly what California looks like in my mind. Sunshine in a glass. Absolute sunshine in a glass. From the juiciness of softly squeezed oranges to orange peel. There's some passion fruit. There's some mango. It's incredible. It's incredible beer. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. There's a little bit of sweetness there to balance that beer out. This beer has everything. Absolutely everything. And to top it all off, you would never think in a million years that you were drinking a beer at 6.7% ABV. My longing and my love for America just keeps growing by the month. I'm 42 years of age. I've still not been to America. Um, I would go straight to California. I would just, poof, straight there, California. I, I, I would quite easily get a short term let, a three month let and just just stay in San Diego and just travel around and just go and see these breweries and just go and stay. Drink as much amazing beer as I possibly could. This is up there with some of the best, if not the best IPAs that I've ever tried in my life. And I've drank over 8,000 beers in my time. I think the channel's up to about 7,800 uploads. But by the time you take him to my judging, I do a lot of judging. So there's times where I judge 100, 150 beers in a in a day. So I could quite easily say that we, we go over kind of tasting well over 8,000 beers, probably close to 9,000 beers on the channel or in my life. And, and yeah, this is right up there, right up there with the very, very best beers that I've ever tried in my life. And I want to say a thank you to Lister. Thank you to Lister to, for, for giving me this opportunity to try something as good as this. I always say, if a beer gets sent to me, like, like Pliny the Younger up there, Pliny the Elder, Blind Pig, all these wonderful beers from America. If they're difficult for the Americans to get hold of, then it's next to impossible for us people over here who love beer to get hold of it in the UK or Europe. It's, it's next to impossible. So for me to stand here today reading this letter saying that it was really difficult to get hold of this beer and... Uh, Weldworks Brewing Company, they're from Colorado, Gre Greeley in Colorado. Um, it's just smashing. It's, it's just absolutely smash. It's fantastic. It really is. There's a look at the can. I'm going to rate it. 
it's beautiful. Look at the lacing. I mean, look at the, the, the residue on the side of that glass. It's just wonderful. It really is. Straw coloured, hazy. Beautiful stuff, beautiful. I'm going to rate it. This beer has no ice cream concentrates in it. It has no... I can taste it. It has nothing other than oats, malt, yeast, hops and water. I can taste it. I can taste how pure this beer is. This is how every beer in the world should be brewed. It just shows with raw ingredients, without all of these adjuncts and these crazy things that people are doing to beer at the moment. Ice cream concentrates and, and all this flavor. You don't need any of it. You don't need any of that stuff. You just need to be a brew amazing beer like this and you keep people like me happy. This is a 10 out of 10 beer. 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.